Okay, y'all. Right here, I got three of those um, signs from the Dollar Tree. They was from Halloween. I don't have any out um, from for Christmas yet. But <clears throat> I was checking the paper to see if it was loose on the edge like I always do. See if it's going to peel up. And I only checked one. Well, I know I checked the front of them. Anyway, I sanded them all down, flipped them over, and I'm going to take my giant um, craft sticks. I get those from Walmart, y'all. <clears throat> I like using them on the back better than anything, even the paint stir sticks. And then I got the smaller ones from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I just run it down the cracks. Because I want to it to hold together and want it to be real sturdy. Now, y'all, I had a mess with this sign. Y'all see at the end of the video, it was nuts. But, of course, you know me in my crazy fashion. I got to fill my holes and all my cracks. <clears throat> because I like, look, just we'll talk about that later. So, anyway, I caught that thing on fire. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, I caught it on fire. You see down there in the corner, it was um, had some water damage on it. <laughs> this really um, slowed me down getting my video out. Anyway, I painted it black. And I got two um, five-gallon paint stir sticks there. And I'm going to paint them in the crimson chalk paint by Waverly, which is just red. So, anyway, you don't really have to fill your holes, and here's why. I just line them up on the side there and mark them, and I took them outside, and I cut them on my saw. And I'm just going to glue one down on each side. And I did cover my back, I just didn't show y'all. And I lost some footage here, but anyway. Um... The, the the it's easy it i mean y'all will see it's easy to do um not lose footage it's easy to do what i'm about to show you <laughs> so anyway i got there's some footage lost too i got one of them let it snows from the dollar tree and i um covered it with scrapbooking paper and mod podge and i cut it apart um yeah and oh well, here I decided, because I cut that the snowflake out of it, and it looked funny after I cut it all up. So I thought, I'll just add one of my snowflakes to it. But then when I went to do my sign, I was like, well, the way I want to do it, I'm going to have to cut the end off too. And I just cut it off with my um, utility knife and sand it down until I thought it looked good. And I got those snowflakes there from the Dollar Tree too. They have like a, I don't know, There's that's a bigger size. They have one smaller than that, then they have one even bigger than that. So that's the medium. There you go. And I take that crystal uh, chalk paint by Waverly, and I'm going to put it over top the first snowflake. I glued two of them together because I wanted it to be a bit thicker. Now see here, I just drew, drew three lumps with my pencil, and then I painted it in. That's it. I mean, that was that easy. Y'all, Y'all can do it, trust me. Um, see, you don't need a cricket. I'm, I'm about to show you in this video. So here I'm drawing a nose, an eye, and a hand, or an arm, and little buttons. And I'm going to take my truffle chalk paint here, and I'm going to paint his little hand, his little stick hand. I did make him a hand for the, an arm and a hand for the other side too, but I'll do that later. See how easy this is, y'all? Seriously, it's so easy. And then I just took um, pumpkin chalk paint by Waverly and painted him a little nose on. Now here's where I, I well there was the missing footage was painting the snowman but I laid down my letters before I painted his nose and stuff on and then after I got my letters I was like oh no I should have made his nose smaller and lower maybe. So I just drew those little circles for his eyes and his buttons and just painted them in with black. And it don't have to be perfect because it's supposed to be cold. Corn cop pipe and a button nose and two eyes made. I don't have a button nose and maybe the cold eye and I don't have a corn cop pipe. My little dude I made last year, he did. He was so funny. Oh, I'm just taking that crystal paint there to say my painted that snowflake and just like tracing out where his humps are and running some of that blue through his body because that blue's on that um scrapbook and paper and i'm just gonna glue down my let it snow see where my it comes over by his nose too close but anyway and then i laid out my snow and then i end up gluing it too close to the edge i didn't like where i glued it i really am disappointed in myself y'all oh my goodness 
Oh, what a rough week it's been. Anyway, yeah. So, and then I got some of those little tiny snowflakes there. I didn't like the hole in it, but there was nothing I could do about it. And I glued them down, and I rounded out his head more. Yeah, because I was going to put a hat on him, and I changed my mind. So, I just rounded out his head more. I did his other little arm and hand right there. And, y'all, that thing is done. And, oh, I put some lines in his little carrot nose with that truffle paint, too. Look how cute that is. That is so easy to do, y'all. Seriously. And I love it. I adore it. I think it's just the bee's knees. Isn't that cute? And it's big. Okay, right here I took one of them pot belly vases from Dollar Tree. It's what they're called. And I took one of those um, small snow globes. And I painted them both with white chalk paint. Gave them two coats. Now, I'm going to take some fairy lights here. Now, I got those from Amazon like forever and a day ago. Um, a year and a half ago. Just now opening. Got a bunch of them. And I'm going to stick them up in his head. <laughs> and then, put not put the lid on, but put that little plastic piece that comes with them snow globes and it's gonna hold my lights up in there if you put the lid on um it ain't gonna fit right unless you do it upside down anyway so i'm just gonna take one of them buffalo check socks from dollar tree and i'm gonna make him a little hot hot no hat first i was gonna make him a beanie and then i changed my mind and i went with a longer hat i don't know what she's doing oh she stole four packs of crackers out of the pie safe, y'all. She got the door open, and I shut it, and she went up there and opened it and got them again. Anyway, so I cut the toes out of the um, sock there, because like I said, I was going to do a beanie, but I ended up using the upper part of the sock, and I just put it down around his head, and I took my paint markers, and I'm going to draw them little eyes. Yep. <laughs> and his little mouth. It's going to be... <laughs> he's so cute. Um. Oh. And, and a carrot nose. Yep, little orange nose. Lord, she's a mess. She's in my way. I thought, to be sure, that nose was going to go all the way across his face. It didn't. Anyway. Look at that. How cute, y'all. Oh, and then I put little whites in the middle of his black eyes. I wish I wouldn't have done that. It looked better without it. So... Anyway, I'm just going to, yeah, hot glue his little hat down all the way around his head. I'm making me another snowman candy dish, y'all. Ain't it cute? Oh, my goodness. I've never seen anybody do this before. <laughs> anyway, if someone has, I'm sorry, but I've never seen it done. Anyway, and I'm just going to make him three little black buttons on his belly. I thought that looked like a little snowman <laughs> my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I draw him little stick arms on the side. <laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. <clears throat> Gonna take some Hershey's Kisses and dump them down in there in his body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And put his head on. And his head fits right on there. If you don't put that plastic piece, square it on. Square it on. Screw it on on the bottom of it. If you just put that rubber-like piece in it, it fits right down that base. And I'm going to take another piece of sock, another sock, cut it longwise. I'm going to make him a little scarf. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that. Mm. Y'all, look at him. <laughs> you just glue his little scarf on around his neck. Don't glue it on his head. You got to glue it to the top of the vase. You'll see here in a minute. If y'all recreate it, which I think you should because I think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, so it was kind of hard to get up out of there with that scarf on. So I just glued it down like around, you see there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim all that off so I don't have any problem getting his head on and off. Because you just sit it right down in there and it stays, you know, good and snug. And it comes in now there, I mean, easy. And you got you a snowman candy dish, y'all. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see his lights. His lights on. He just glows up his whole little body and his head. Okay. Ain't he cute? So, got one of them sleds there from the Dollar Tree and just going to sand it down real good and take it apart. Now, y'all, 
When I was taking mine apart, I was like, it came off easy, but then I kept jabbing myself, and I realized there's little nails in there. I mean, it was all through it. So pull out your little nails, and I'm just taking some plaster chalk paint here, and just going to paint the entire thing so that red wouldn't come through, and then I'm going to throw down some Mod Podge. Throw down. Anyway, and, um... Yeah, take that black and white buffalo paper, buffalo check paper, put it on there, and also do my little handle steerer thingy, put it down on there, yep, just gonna bray it down, and then I'm gonna take two five-gallon paint stir sticks, two more, and mineral chalk paint by Waverly, I'm gonna paint the entire stick, front side, back side, down side, and four tumbling tower blocks. Yeah, I don't know why I showed all this. Anyway, just take your craft knife and cut out your paper, y'all, real easy. And then sand it down a little bit around the edges in case you have any pieces sticking out. Now me, you know me, I'm extra. So I painted the back side of my sign black because I wanted it to look nice and finished. And I'm going to put Mod Podge on the front of it because, y'all, I forgot that. I missed that right corner again. Anyway... I just lined up my little uh, sled thingies there, sled thingies on my mat, and glued tumbling tower blocks down because I wanted something for my uh, paint stir sticks to hold on to, and just glued them down, put some glue on the tumbling tower blocks, and ba-bam, and then take your little handle thing, hot glue it down in your little divots there, it's perfect, and I'm going to take two of those square blocks, I didn't paint them, I should have, I need to, and the ones with holes in them, and I'm just going to put hot glue all down, make sure it's down real good, and take my brush and knock off the the spider glue webs. Anyway, I'm going to take that pick, courtesy of Miss Shelly, and um, she got it for me, and it's from Walmart, and I'm just, I took it apart and took some jute and tied the bottom of it together to make it look all pretty and nice. Going to hot glue that down. And, oh, I'm going to make me a little bow. Now, one, I wish I'd made a bigger bow. I think it would have looked better. I think my bow is too small. Now, I'm going to critique myself all through this video. And, um, so if y'all do it, make you, make you a bigger bow. My bow is way too small. And just going to fluff it out. And then I put tails on it. And then I change my mind and I cut my tails off. I'm like, I don't like the tails on it. But I glued three little pine cones down, little tiny pine cones down, one in the middle and two off to the side. See, I'm like, this looks stupid. So I'm just going to cut it off there. And my bow is still too small. It's, it's all fluffy and stuff. I just think it's too little. And on my cricket, I cut out dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Anyway, I'm going to take two of those small snowflakes you know i was telling you earlier they're small medium and large but those are small ones and i glue two of them together no i don't <laughs> i glue two of them to my sled yes oh and then i just take some baker's twine and i'm gonna run it through the holes in those little blocks yeah you'll see here in a minute well maybe y'all <laughs> i gotta tell you oh my goodness Oh, run it through the both holes, up through one, down through the other. Tied off in a knot, and there's your little hanger. Yeah, I think this is just cute as can be. Cute as a Peter's button. I don't know what that means, but I hope it's cute. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? I just think it looks better than the little flat leg things it had on it. Unless you want the flat leg thing on it. You want it to lay flat against your wall. I mean, then there you go. Okay, I got that pan thing i don't know what it is from <clears throat> kroger marketplace oh goodness forever ago after easter for like a quarter and anyway i'm just gonna sand it down and i'm gonna paint it with waverly white chalk paint the inside and the outside and all of it, all that jazz i gave it two coats and i take one of them uh candle pillar stands from the dollar tree and i give it two coats of waverly white chalk paint Goodness gravy. And I'm going to take my Gorilla... Yeah, it's Gorilla. Gorilla glue and some hot glue. And I glue it upside down. I did paint the bottom. See, I painted the top. But 
I glued the bottom to the pan. Oh, goodness. And take one of them round piece styrofoams I got from Dollar Tree. I'm basically just using it for height and gluing it in the middle. And one of them cupcake looking pieces of styrofoam. I'm going to glue it on top of the other one. Oh, then get you some Spanish moss. Cut it up real good. <laughs> anyway, and... Oh, throw down some hot glue. I don't know why I keep talking about throwing down stuff. Throw down glue and um, just glue it all around the sides of your cupcake looking styrofoam. And then trim it all up. Make it look nice. Sorry my video's late, y'all. Like I said, I had issues. Anyway, after I get it all trimmed down real nice, then I'm going to glue it to the top of it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I left it in. I mean, well, anyway. So I got one of those um garland, them pine garland, whatever they are, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna wrap it all around the inside. I know it looks silly right now, but just give me a minute. It looks like some crazy bird's cake donut. Anyway, and I take my Waverly White chalk paint and I flock it all. <laughs> what was it I said? Y'all got tickled. I'll oh, flock it like it's hot. Y'all made me laugh over that. Anyway, and I got that white eucalyptus from Dollar Tree. Isn't that pretty? And it's all um shiny or glittery. All snowed up. Anyway, I love eucalyptus, y'all. I mean, some of y'all know this. Oh, I just bend it down and um and uh, shove it in my my um foam. And okay, I got those picks from the Walmart. I think those were dollar forty eight. They are so pretty. They got them little white balls on it and some pine cones. And I took extra of those picks, those greenery picks from other picks. I just pulled the pine needles off and stuck it in there and put some pine cones in there. And I take my two turtle doves. Is that what those are? I don't know. I think so. I think that's what they're supposed to be. I don't know. They had little wires coming out of them. So I clipped those off. And I hot glued their little feet down. And I glued that little white pretty cross right behind them. And I think that is pretty. Oh, ain't that pretty? Look at that. Oh. And that was quick and easy. I just love that. I do, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, this is my least favorite. <laughs> it looks like a, my husband went to a school called Cold Grove. And um, their colors were black and white and a little bit of red. They were the Cold Grove Hornets. Anyway, that's what these bulbs look like to me. They look like uh, the cheerleaders' shirts. Anyway... Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, I took two of them bulbs, and I painted them white, Waverly White chalk paint. And I'm going to take my Marion Bright, and I'm going to score off my ampersand. Ampersand, is that what it is? Yeah, anyway. Um, it's better if you take a pencil and, like, like right, draw out where you want to cut, and then try to follow that line. Yeah. Because we're going to use both of these. And I just sanded it off. I ended up having to cut the end of that M off, because it hung over on the side of my bulb my yeah so anyway just send that down the best you can try to round it out you know and i paint both them white the mary and the bright hmm anyway i got two now those trees were from last year so i haven't seen them this year i've seen those other ones the regular ones but not the ones with the holes in them <clears throat> and I just trace them both out on buffalo check paper, but then I take the normal one with the little star on the top of it And I cut my star off and make my tree at a point because I didn't want the star on it. Yeah, sand it down And cut that out <laughs> For both of them That one that wickedy one with the little holes in it. Oh, that was a devil to cut out and just take my glue stick and Glue the buffalo check paper on my little Christmas trees Mm-hmm I feel like if it was <coughs> choke on my spit. Anyway, so I just put them side by side, and I take my frog tape. I'll put my bright on there to see about where I want to make my, you know, 
<laughs> my division. I don't know. Then just cut my tape down the middle, and I paint both of them black. Now, if you paint, like, towards the center, after you put your paint down, like, swerp it towards the center, not add it, or not run it over side to side, you're going to have less bleeding. You ain't got to worry about it as much. So, that's just what I do. I mean, everybody has their own way. Some people put down Mod Podge. Some people put down the white paint, then paint the black paint. Anyway, but I paint the tops, too. Hmm. I think that might be one of the places I went wrong was painting the tops to match. Maybe I should have painted them silver. I don't know. And I just took some Baker's twine and did a lark's head knot and made my little hangers with them that way. Of course, I got to use my little needle. I love those things. Those are amazing. Oh, there was a little spot right there. Oh, and then I didn't paint all the way up on the white because I knew I was going to paint it a different color and it didn't cover it all. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm just going to take my... Uh, those things, those markers, those, what are they, y'all? Paint markers? There you go. And just put little red squigglies all the way around it. And then I'm going to take this ribbon that says, I think it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas. I don't know what it says. Maybe y'all can see. Oh, something about little Christmas. Wait a minute. Here it is. Oh, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And just hot glued that ribbon around both those i think that's where i went wrong too and then just trim off the excess i don't know i just didn't think it looked right and then i took my bright and my mary <clears throat> and um i kind of like wanted to highlight the later so they'd stick out better well it looked cute on the bright but the mary mm -mm, not so much i just i didn't like that and probably because it was in cursive or something i don't know so I hot glued them down to the middle. Well, I dropped that one and got glue everywhere. I had to line up my end, M where I'd cut off that end. You know what I mean? Because it was, it was too big. And then just take a little uh, chippy brush and knock your spider glue webs off. And my bright was okay. It was my Mary. Maybe I shouldn't have put bright in the video. Or Mary in the video. I don't even know anymore. So I'm just going to take my little Christmas trees and glue them on the bottom. And I glue that one sideways or cockeyed or whatever, you know, at an angle. Then that one, I should have glued it cockeyed, but I didn't. I glued it straight up and down. And I'm like, well, that was dumb. But it's done. <laughs> don't they look like jerseys? I remember my cheerleading uniforms used to, the front of them look like that. But we were red, white, and blue. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so I took the leftover little pretty glittery icy pieces from the picks that I put on my sleigh and I put four little leaves down and three little berries and that that part was cute I liked it yeah maybe if the letters the words were a different color I don't know I don't know what y'all think I don't know well there they are go big red I don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's it well they match everything else that i did today but you know okay got me a piece of cardstock paper here y'all this was this is where i had got some serious damage you'll see it in the video and i'm just gonna draw me out a mitten really easy you make a thumb and a big uh i don't know a big there you go I don't know. Yeah. Cut it out. That simple. Then hang it on your tree. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, goodness. I ain't got no sense. So, there's that <clears throat> Christmas tree skirt again. Of course, I got to put them gloves on. I can't stand that. Ugh. Anyway. And I got me a chalk marker. And I just lay my little pattern down and just trace around it. Um, because that's going to be on the inside and I have to worry about seeing it, you know. And then I fold it in half be so I only have to make one cut, you know what I mean? And it's up against the seam so that, like, get the insides, um, y'all will see. It's still glued together, like where you'd put your hand down in it. But... I think it's easier for me to keep it together that way while I was cutting it out. 
That's a pretty Christmas tree skirt. But I have other plans. Anyway, so I got my two mittens, and I'm just going to flip them inside out like that. See where it's still attached there? I just think it's easier to keep together. Sometimes when you put one and another, you're going to have excess like that. So I just trimmed that excess off. Yeah. That was easy. Now I have um, fabric hot glue, but I just use regular hot glue on it, y'all. I usually do. <clears throat> um... And then just glue it down all the way around. Yeah. I just put a thin strip all the way down it and it holds it together. Now, I ran out of time because I was determined I was going to get this video out today. Because yesterday was a struggle. Thursday was a struggle. Wednesday was a struggle. I don't know. You should call me Struggle Joe or Crybaby. Crybaby titties suck. That's what I call everybody. Y'all didn't hear that, did you? No. You didn't hear it. Anyway, so I just cut the ends off there. So I can wear them this, this year. I'm going to wear them to have snowball fights in. <laughs> oh, goodness. I did put my hand down in them. Look. I mean, they're too, they look like kitchen mittens. But I put my hands down in them to get my thumb out there. Anyway, and I'm going to take that dust mop uh, head. Is that what it's called? Anyway, that dust mopter. Mopter? Oh, Lord. I don't even know, y'all. Anyway, when you cut it, man, clean that jazz off. It is a terrible, terrible mess. I remember last year working with that stuff and getting it everywhere. But I stuck my, my little pattern down in there so I wouldn't glue my mitten shut. And just glue it all the way around it. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, I got yarn here, and I cut it probably about 24 inches. Is that right? Maybe about 30. Yep, yeah, I'd say about 30. Mm-hmm. And I cut three pieces, and I bent them in half, folded it in half, not bent them. You can't bend fabric, I reckon. You can fold it. Anyway, and I'm putting down a piece of painter's tape, and I'm going to braid it. Just two uh, strands at a time. Tie not in the end of it. Now, y'all, watch the, watch the, end of the video what happened. Y'all will die laughing. Anyway, so I hot glued um, my ends in each mitten. And then I'm in serious pain right here, y'all. Serious pain. And I took that, um, you know, the icy stuff I made my little uh, trees I love. I couldn't even hardly use my fingers. They hurt so bad. <laughs> and um, I burnt myself back. Yeah, y'all will see. And I put those two of those icy ones on each thing. And then I take two of those beautiful holly leaves and put two of each on there also. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Did it even make sense? Good gravy. And I'm going to take a little stick of those berries and glue it on there. Mm-hmm. And do the same thing there and glue a little pine cone down. Now, look, you can hang these on the walls. You can put flowers down in them. You can just lay them up somewhere. I just think they're pretty. Look at them, how pretty. Oh, I love them. I love them. Yeah, I do. Anyway, yeah, you can put flowers down in them or just hang them on the wall as is or throw them over a hook somewhere just as a decorate. Anyway, here's everything, y'all. Look at my little snow dude, my little candy dish. <laughs> He's so cute. Here's my cheerleading uniforms, and I love my big old snowman. He's a big old fat dude. Looks like me, short and fat. Anyway, got more rolls and hunters, but I, I just, yeah, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all mean the world to me, and I appreciate y'all so, so very much. You honestly mean the world to me. Look here. Okay. Look, so you know I told you about the hot glue thing and stick your fingers in your mouth. I got hot glue on three of my fingers, stuck my fingers in my mouth, and got hot glue all over my lips, burnt my lips and everything. <laughs> Ew, what a mess. I'm biting glue off my fingers and everything. It was awful. Look at it. Hot glue in my dang mouth. Probably everybody's like, I wish you'd hot glue that thing shut. 
<laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. Anyway, look, Jessie. Jessie's stealing crackers. Look at her. I didn't even know she was doing it. Look, seriously, got in the pie safe. Stole four packs of crackers. But anyway, look, when I glued those signs together the first time and I painted them, I went to set them in the other room to let them dry, and I saw bubbling. I was like, ooh, that's bubbling up. What's going on? Now, remember, I painted the backside. It had paper on the backside also. So, y'all, watch your signs if you're going to paint them, because look what happened to me. Yeah, what a mess. And then it just all went downhill after that. I tried to remove all the paper. Didn't work. Cotton on fire and everything. Love y'all. Bye. Big hugs.